All right, hello grade sixes. Uh, welcome to our next math video. This is the last video actually of the unit and it's called Keeping Equations Balanced. It's actually very easy, but we're gonna go through it. Um, it won't be a very long video today. Uh, there's not much to talk about. So it says here, this is a little practice for you guys. <laughs> Sorry about the vehicle in the background. My door is open, so. Each of these tug of war teams has the same total mass. Okay, so um, let's say it is uh, one, th no, that's too much. Let's go 400 kilograms, okay, each. So we're not talking about strength or force here. We're talking about mass, okay, weight, all right? Now, suppose girl, a girl with the mass of 48 kilograms joins team A. So if we add 48, we're going to have 448 now here. Well, what would happen first off? Okay, because this one has more mass, they're probably going to win. Okay, taking into account mass, not strength. Now, what could be done to keep the match fair? Okay, well, if we have 448 kilograms now here and we added 48, okay, we have to do the exact same on this side, and we're gonna get 48 kilograms. So now we've kept it fair by going 448 kilograms, all right? So that's what this lesson is basically about, doing things on one side to keep it equal on the other with different equations. Let's say that team B added 10 more kilograms, okay, with a little uh, cat or something, okay, or a dog, let's go dog, all right? Well. If we wanted to make that fair, because now this is 458 kilograms, we would have to add 458 kilograms, or 10 kilograms here to get 458. This is called the preservation of equality to preserve equality, and this is our lesson today. So stay tuned. <clears throat> so this first little thing is all about, oh, sorry guys, counters, okay? So Max has started with this equation each time. So he has two plus four, Okay, and 3 times 2. So 2 plus 4 is 6. Okay, 3 times 2 is 6. He modeled it using counters. Each side has 6 counters, but it looks different. Okay, we have 2 here. We have 4 here. We have 2 here, 2 here, 2 here for 2 times, or 3 times 2. So, to preserve the equality, Max subtracted 4 from each side. So he did... 6 minus 4, and he got rid of them, okay? And he did 6 minus 4 and got rid of them to make them equal, so they each have 2. So here, okay, if I was to preserve the equality, be 2 plus 4 minus 4, and 3 times, times 2 minus 4, all right? These are the exact same equations, all right, even though they look a lot different. That's what preservation of equality is. The next one, Max added two to each side this time, okay? So there was six here, we added two, okay? There was six here, we added two. Well, the answer is still gonna be eight on each side, okay? And our equations would look like this. Two plus four is six plus two is eight, okay? Three times two plus two is eight. So all we're doing is doing the same to both sides, okay? Max, then multiplied the sides by two. So all he did was he took six and he did another six on the bottom here, okay? To represent 12 here. But he had to do the same on this side, so he gets 12. Okay, if we wrote the equation, it would be two plus four times two, so six times two and three times two times two. So notice what I'm doing, guys, is I'm adding, okay, the thing that you do in your counters to the end of the equations, right? Or at the start, sorry, on this one, okay? Or no, sorry, right there, right there, yeah, and right there, all right. So max, the fourth time, so you can preserve equality with any equation, guys, and that's kind of what you have to do with this assignment. Um, you pick the numbers, okay? You just have to preserve the equality on both sides. So here, we want to divide these sides into two equal groups. So six divided by two is, uh, sorry, 
three or three because there's uh, three in each and three here. Okay, so each group has three counters. So here's the big thing of this lesson on this part so far. Whenever Max did to one side of the equation, he did to the other side too. Each time the number of counters on both sides remained equal. So the equation remained balanced. Okay, so for instance, this last one, it was two plus four divided by two. This was three times two divided by two. Bed mass, you go six divided by two. Okay, here you would not do bed mass, you'd go six divided by two, and you'd get three and three. Okay, so that's preservation of equality. We're gonna move on. So now, they're uh, not trying to confuse you a lot, but they're gonna add some variables to it now. So, suppose we know six equals three T. So I have paper strips, guys. That's what you need to do in this assignment. They're T paper strips, okay? So here, okay, we have six equals three T. These are two different equations, okay? And we want to keep them balanced. So right now, we know they're balanced though, okay? Because we have three T, we would just do three times two, and we get equals six, right? So to preserve the equality, we can add the same number to each side. So now we're doing six plus one equals, six plus one equals three T plus one, okay? Nothing changed, all right, besides I had to add one to each side to preserve the equality. So here what we're saying is this is gonna be seven and this is gonna be three times two plus one, which is seven. To subtract the same number from each side, okay? so. It says six minus one and equals three T minus one. All right, so what we would do is we'd go like this with our six, okay, we'd get rid of one and here we'd get rid of one of the T's or no, sorry, not one of the T's, okay, one of these, all right? So our answer would be five here and here it would be three times two minus one, which is five. So really the only thing you're doing here guys is you're trying to find out what are two equal equations by just adding, subtracting, dividing, or multiplying something to both sides. <clears throat> so much like that first slide guys, okay, we can do this with variables though too. We can multiply each side by the same number. So here we add six and then times two equals two times three T, okay? All we're saying here is basically that we're doubling the visual, okay? And you have to learn how to do the visuals. That's why this is part of the lesson, all right? So here, okay, we're saying 12 equals, okay, three times, uh, and then it would be, or two, sorry, this is a two, <laughs> my bad. Uh, it would be three, so two times three times two. So we'd get 12 here as well, okay? Now, T isn't represented by two here, guys, but I know that, okay, T is two in this case because three times two is six, okay? We want to find the equal equations. Okay, finally, divide each side by the same number. So we have six divided by two equals three T divided by two, all right? So to write this as a visual, okay, all you would do is you take six and you cut it in half, okay, to get obviously three, and here, what you would do is you'd cut the half of 3t and you'd get 3 as well, okay? So, what it says here, when we do the same to each side of the equation, we produce an equivalent form of the equation. So, 6 plus 1 equals 3t plus 1. 6 minus 1 equals 3t minus 1. 2 times 6 equals 2, t, 2 times 3t. And 6 divided by 2 equals 3t divided by 2 are all equivalent forms of the equation six equals three t, okay? You guys, it's as simple as this, okay? We could do addition here, and we could do six plus two, okay? Well, if we do that, we did plus two here, we have to do three t, but now plus two, okay? It's that easy, you take what you do here, you take what you do here, all right? So if you have any questions, let me know, but that's our lesson. Uh, thank you for tuning in, have a great day, guys.